today we are going to learn how to control motor starter auto and manual function you can see here we have one auto manual selector switch if you want to start stop your motor starter manually so first selector on one number position now you can start stop your motor starter manually by pressing a start push button and for stopping you need to press stop push button now for auto operation first select a selector switch on two number position when your water tank level is low when your water tank is empty so your motor starter will start automatically when your water tank level is full then your motor starter will stop automatically with this float switch so let's start video and first understand setup so you can see here we have one dual starter and also for auto and manual operation we have one selector switch for manual operation we need to select a selector switch on one number position when we select a selector switch on one number position so we can start to stop our motor starter with this push button you can see here and also for auto operation first we need to select a selector switch on two number position now our motor starter will control automatically according to water level in water tank okay so when water tank is empty so your motor starter will start automatically when water tank is full so your motor starter will stop automatically okay. now let's learn a control wiring but before learning control wiring first understand contactor operation so you can see here for operating contactor we need to provide phase a neutral to 20 volt ac supply so we can connect a phase in a1 terminal and also you can connect a neutral to a2 terminal if you want to connect phase and neutral one side so you can connect a phase and neutral here and if you want to connect phase and neutral on both sides so you can connect easily this is contactor power terminal and this is contactor auxiliary point you can see here 13 and 14 is no point and also we have one nc auxiliary point you can see here we have one ano and nc point with this contactor first we provide neutral supply in contactor a2 terminal connection is very simple okay so first we connect a neutral power supply directly to contactor a2 terminal now let's learn a phase control wiring so we connect to one connector phase to connect to overload relay 95 number point nc point now overload relay nc output will connect this auto manual selector switch so first see this auto manual selector switch terminals you can see here we have one a1 terminal and one a2 terminal okay and also we have one one number point you can see here one connector is connected with this one number point so one number point is common point so we connect a phase wire in one number point okay and a1 for manual operation if we rotate selector switch on one number position so one number supply comes in a1 terminal okay and for auto operation when you rotate this selector switch on two number position then one number supply comes in this a2 terminal okay now let's learn a float switch terminals you can see here in this float switch we have three wire black blue and red wire okay and black wire is common wire when float switch downside so black supply comes in this blue wire so black wire is common wire blue wire is nc wire when float switch downside okay when float switch upside when float switch up so black wire supply comes in this red wire okay now let's check black wire is common wire so we connect a multimeter probe in black and blue wire when float switch downside so you can see here continuity showing when float switch upside so it shows zero okay it is a no point okay when float switch downside so your motor starter will is when float switch up so your motor starter will stop automatically okay so we need to use black and blue wire okay now we connect a overload relay nc output terminal 96 number point and connect this connector to this auto manual selector switch a common point one number point okay first learn a manual operation so for manual operation we connect one connector from a one terminal of this selector switch and connect a stop push button nc element input side you can see here first learn a manual operation okay and output of this nc element connect a start push button no element you can see here okay when you press this start push button so our motor starter should start so we connect this connector to contactor a1 point you can see here neutral directly connect to a2 terminal 
and when you press push button so face comes in a1 point you can see here now power is on selected on one number position when you press start push button so your motor starter will start but only when you press push button for permanently operation you need to provide holding supply okay so you can connect a holding from ANC output side or ANO input so side. So connect one connector from ANO input side and connect this connector to contactor ANO auxiliary point you can see here. Now how our contactor will hold let's learn. You can see here contactor A1 point when you press push button so your motor starter will start. So we connect one connector from ANO to a1 coil okay when your contactor will start this ano makes nc and your contactor will hold permanently okay so we connect one connector from contactor a1 terminal to contactor in o terminal you can see here now learn how it works okay when you press the start push button your motor starter will start when you press the stop push button your motor starter will stop okay for float switch connection you can see here in this float switch we have three wire black wire is common wire blue wire is nc wire and red wire is ano wire okay so we connect one connector from selector switch a2 terminal and connect this connector to float switch common point which is black wire okay so we connect one connector in this selector switch a2 terminal and connect this connector to float switch common point which is blue, black wire you can see here when float switch downside so black supply comes in this blue wire so we connect one connector in this blue wire and need to connect this connector to contactor a1 terminal okay but you can see here we have one connector from a start push button a no element to contactor a1 coil you can see here so we connect this connector to start push button output side because start push button output side already connect contactor A one terminal you can see here and rest one wire which is red wire so you need to connect tape here and also you can cut okay now learn the control wiring how it works okay first select a manual operation you can start stop your motor starter manually anytime when you want okay and for auto operation first you need to select a selector switch on two number position when your tank is empty and your tank level is low so float switch downside when float switch downside so your motor starter will start automatically when float switch upside so your motor starter will stop automatically you can see here so by this connection you can control your motor starter manually by push button now let's see one more time first select one number position you can start to stop your motor starter manually also you can start to stop your motor starter automatically by this float switch hope you understand the concept of this auto manual selector switch with this float switch if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet next video